Hello, it's Uka, and today I am doing another guide. And you probably know this, that awesome intro in the start. I'd just like to say big thanks to my friend that made it for me, and yeah. So, hopefully you thought it was awesome too. But this time I'm going to do one about like, more fancy shaman tactics. There will be some hard mode tactics and some normal non-hard mode. So, I'll start with the non-hard mode techniques. So, the first one is spirit jumping. As you can see, this is what spirit jumping is. And you might be thinking, oh my god, how does he do it? He's like, he's not going down here to choose what? Like, going down here to choose what he's going to use. He's just doing it. Wow, just, whoa. So, yeah. The Im most important thing to note about spirit jumping is that when you click 2, it comes up a spirit. So if you click two on your keyboard, a spirit will pop up. But then you might think, oh my god, how can I have my hands on my key or on my arrow keys and my mouse and the two button on the same time? I don't have three hands. Oh my god, how that's possible. And you gotta not use the arrow keys for this. You gotta use your double or your W A S D. So I know how to pronounce it. I think it's a way to pronounce it, but I don't know. So you just jump around with your W A S D and press two. So two W A S D or well, well just let's see. So you press the two button, then you press the W. The two W spirit. Two W spirit. Two W spirit. Two W spirit. So. You just gotta go into like your own private room and train on it, but if you remember to do it 2 W spirit and not W 2 spirit, then it should be alright to learn, because I don't know, well, I, when I found out that, before I always thought that you needed to do jump and then 2 and then spirit, but when I figured that you press 2 W spirit, it just became very easy, I think, for me, and hopefully it will for you too. So now you know how to do that. And then the next thing is to make things disappear. Doesn't that just sound awesome? To make things disappear? So then, let's just make an awesome build with a B plank, and then. Oh no, I said the plank the wrong way, oh my god, I can never finish this build now. But if you're a pro shaman, you can. The way you're doing it is just do spawn, be anchor, then not move your, then don't move your mouse, then press the 2 button to make a spirit, and then press. This will make everything that has a B will just disappear. So then you gotta build without B planks, but it is possible, so if you are a pro shaman, then that shouldn't actually be a problem. And if you are, then I will prob or then I will try and teach you basic tricks of being a hard mode shaman right now. So the first thing with being a hard mode shaman is that you don't have any B anchors. So you can't start off your build with a B plank as you normally would. You will need to start it with only C planks. So, the most normal way to do it is doing this. So, l just build a box out of. Just build a box um, where around the platform that you're staying on, and then just do it like this. Then, oh, yeah. So, now you have like. I'm going to try and cat it in the way, and as you can see, it's. Oh god, what? Yeah, but mice isn't that powerful, so normal mice won't actually make it disappear, but that can did it didn't do it when I tested it, but yeah, I must have placed the can somewhere else, but yeah. It is it is steady. It's just that it kinda of failed now, so sorry for that. But yeah. Um so that, uh, yeah. So and you might notice it, something else I got. See when I do it here, 
I got it to be a sea anchor right there and how you do that is you select an arrow I just press the number one key and then you press C this doesn't work all the time so and then press C and then you spawn a sea plank or a sea anchor and that that's very 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 handy for hard mode shamans not too much for normal shamans but for hard mode shaman it's gold yeah so then yeah so now I'm going to show you another start method this is if like the ground is super big like it's from here to here then this thing is very very smart so you just start by placing well kind of bad example just wait if I do it delete then sorry for this I didn't really prepare then I just do like god why let's see if I do like this and then I do like this this is the way many of the like vanilla maps is it's just a sm tiny platform so, so now you have this bl big platform doing planks are all over it will take like forever so then you do just take a balloon and as you can see now it's under and then you just take that thing there and now you can start building and if you then do this you'll have a secure thing so it can move I think if I can it let's try no it doesn't so as you can see there it's pretty secure can can even can it away. So now just do this and then it's secure as always. Yeah. <laughs> pretty handy, right? And that well, as you can see now it's starting to become pretty hard because now you have nothing to secure it with and it's bouncy, so this can be hard to place it down. You can see it's not always on the same place, so it's hard to place it down. And then that's when you're using this trick. Just take a balloon and then attach it with that arrow trick you learned er earlier and now it's secure this too it still sways a little bit but it's better than before and if you do more balloons it will make it even more steady so that just continue on with the build and yeah I think that was all uh, if you have seen anything else fancy that some people do and you want me to cover it or at least try, then leave it in the comments, and then thanks for watching, and I'll see you next time.